Like this one's pollinated, but this one is. Hey, there's a bee. If you find bees in your backyard, you should count yourself lucky because all of our plants in Texas require pollination. Some are pollinated through wind, but many are pollinated by our native bees, honeybees, wasps, butterflies, and other pollinators. However, if you do find a hive that's in a place that's not appropriate, maybe it's in an area that you need to mow or it's too close to the house, you do have an option. You don't have to actually exterminate those hives. My name is Whitney Nolan. We're in Austin, Texas at my home, and I'm having uh, some bees removed from my house. So here's the back where I have my goat pin tied into my shed and my chicken coop that I built on the end of the goat pen. Back here is the tree where I've got my main hive, and you can tell she's, uh, she's blaring. <laughs> she's full. She's like a full tummy. Yeah, that's a beautiful hive. It's awesome. A few years back, I installed two owl houses, uh, one in the front yard and one in the backyard. And I had screech owls that inhabited both boxes for about two years. Then after that, bees started taking over the box in the back. One year, uh, the hive was so big, they broke off and they swarmed and they inhabited the front owl house. And now I have bees in the front owl house. The tree is weaker now. I'm thinking about having the front one removed. I want it to be safe in the neighborhood, and also, if I ever need to do anything with that tree, I want the bees to be safe. I'm gonna light it, put it in the bottom, get the smoker going. My name is Peyton Price. I'm a bee specialist with the American Honey Bee Protection Agency. Even if it's a small hive or you're not doing much, it's always good to have smoke for safety concerns. Keep the bees a little more docile, move more I want to. We're at a client's house. She has a hive and an owl box in her front yard and a tree. We are removing it today. We're gonna take it out to one of our apiaries and give it a new home. I don't really get nervous, but my adrenaline does get pumping. Bees fascinate me. This is a perfect bee home. First thing I'm gonna do is smoke them a little bit. With a little smoke, I can get them kind of go back into the hive to the back. They've got some escape holes on the bottom I'm gonna seal. Now I won't smash any bees when I set that box down. So we got a couple of the guard bees coming out front. I can smell their pheromones on me. It kind of smells like bananas. All right, I got it all taped up. They all retreated back into the hive. I'm gonna dislodge this bottom nail. Oh, we almost got this one out. There we go, it's free. So the top nail's about to come out. Try not to break the back of the box off. And we are free. So I've got the hive down. I'm just gonna set these ladies here for now. So I'm just setting them over here in this area so they have a place to regroup over the next couple of days. If I was to take this hive right now, I would not get to take all of the forager bees with the hive itself. They would stay here, they'd either die or uh, very unlikely find another colony. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this box here until uh, either the sun goes down or before the sun comes up another day when all the forager bees come back to the original hive and then I will take them all at once to the new location, their new home. Oh man, this is beautiful, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what do we have here, Peyton? Yeah, here we are, we're at our, one of our newest co-ops. Right on. First of all, in the state of Texas, if you have five acres or more, you can get an agricultural exemption for allowing us to bring bees there. You uh, removed a beehive earlier. Yeah, let's check it out. See how they've taken their new box. Oh, that's a nice hive. We come out and we place the bees that we catch that are feral and we bring them to the property and we care for them and uh, they produce honey and wax, propolis, things like that that we harvest. See, so you see in this one, you see the, the syrup that they're bringing in. Those look good. This is a really good thing. Way to go, Peyton. We'll come back in a couple weeks. Texas has a wonderful variety of bees. 
as you're out walking around in nature, take a look at some of the bees that are pollinating flowers around Texas. When they're full of honey, for the most part, what we really encourage people to do is understand what bees are doing, what wasps are doing when they're out in the environment, and where they can be tolerated, and when they might need to be relocated.